statements the member from Barrie. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On Saturday, March 11th, I had the privilege of recognizing the contributions of 16 outstanding Barrie residents by presenting them with the Leading Women, Leading Girls Building Communities Award. These ladies exemplify community leadership, volunteerism, and advocacy, and have become mentors to many through their dedication to improving the lives of women and girls. Among them was Eileen Bethune, who has volunteered almost 1,700 hours to Big Brothers Big Sisters over nine years, while also donating her time to Gilda's Club, Out of the Cold, her church, and local library. Giselle Bodkin has raised over $400,000 through the Women's Intuition fundraising campaign for a scholarship that goes to young women with financial needs studying at Georgian College. Diane Kidd, Laura Wilson, and Elizabeth Campbell were all recognized for their many years of contribution to the Camp Hill Community for the Developmentally Disabled, including the establishment of a retail store which showcases artwork and other products created by the residents of their community. Megan Reid of West Bayfield Elementary School was honoured for her many contributions to her school community and for the work she has done with the local Hunters and Anglers Conservation Club's youth program. Arlene McKenzie was recognized as a founding member of the Barry Native Friendship Centre, as well as her tireless efforts to improve services for the Native community. Through her efforts, the Native community now has an emergency food bank, they have access to free clothing, and there is now an Aboriginal health care professional that the community can access. Mr. Speaker, these are just a few of the honorees who received this award in my community, but it was a privilege to recognize their outstanding contribution that all of these women have made. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you.